Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, I'm going to be starting an install series upgrading my AR-15. So this video is sort of the intro setup, what I've got, why I have what I have, and, uh, and how I'm gonna change things up. And then a follow-on videos will be actual, uh, specific, detailed, uh, close-up looks at me making those changes. So this is my AR-15 as it is today, which is pretty much as it is when I bought it. This is an AR-6721 uh, AR-15A3. Um, this is the tactical carbine from Colt. So this rifle I purchased as a law enforcement officer in 1997. That's actually during the assault weapons ban, if you, uh, if you can think back in time. And so I was able to buy it uh, and use it for work because I was a law enforcement officer. And as you can see, this is actually stamped with the government law enforcement restriction. Uh, but I've had it all this time. Of course, now the assault weapons ban federally has been lifted. Although um, states all over the union are trying to uh, continuously ban us from having uh, firearms to number one, enjoy the sport of shooting, uh, but number two, to defend ourselves. Uh, so anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is uh, talking about this gun and, uh, and it's uh, impending upgrades. So like I said, I bought this in 1997. It was my patrol rifle um, as a deputy sheriff. I also carried this um, when I was on SWAT. Um, it was between this and the, um, the sub guns, either the H&K MP5 or the Colt uh, 9mm sub gun, depending on my role. If I was on uh, entry, uh, team, you know, in a stick, I would probably take the sub gun over the AR, but anytime I was in a perimeter uh, situation, I always had this with me uh, when I was out on patrol, uh, in, whether it be an, a marked or an unmarked vehicle, always had this with me. So it's got a lot of sentimental value, so I'm going to keep actually all the parts so I can return it back to stock uh, whenever, whenever I'm done. So uh, first thing I just want to point out, <laughs> I had a... Uh, you know, three-point sling was what I rocked back in the day. I'm changing that up. I'm moving to a two-point sling. Uh, I'm not going to give up all the products uh, that I'm going to going to swap out, but uh, I'll sort of give you some hints here and there. Uh, but yeah, so this uh, three-point sling was the thing to have back in the day. Now they're largely um, most people don't like them. Most people just convert them to two point slings anyway. So there we go, the sling, it is gone. Uh, that will be replaced. Uh, so the Colt AR-15, why did I go with this? Well, to be honest with you, back in 1997, uh, this is before Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and uh, yeah, the AR-15 market has changed a lot uh, since then. Really back then, um, you either got a Colt, which was the real thing, or you could get a knockoff, which was a Bushmaster. So um, being a professional uh, shooter in law enforcement, I went with the real thing, got a Colt, uh, had it shipped uh, directly to my department, and, uh, and then I trained with it and used it. Um, it's largely stock. Uh, I did add on here, you can see uh, this is a, uh, a light rail uh, that I screwed onto the side of the handguard. I carried a, uh, a weapon light on my, at the time, actually was my Kimber uh, TLE 1911, actually uh, probably my Glock uh, 35 before that. Uh, but I had a weapon light that I would transition between the pistol and the rifle. I was a poor cop, right? So um, basically what I would do is, uh, if I was carrying the rifle as my primary weapon, I'd pull the weapon light off the pistol, put it on the, uh, the AR, and then I could operate it with my, uh, my finger. Uh, this is a carbine length grip, nice and short, uh, which by today's standards is sort of not favorable. Most people are going to a longer uh, a grip so you can get a good, maybe a C-clamp grip or, uh, or some good extension. Uh, you know, but this is what I had, this is what I trained with. Uh, all that's getting uh, fixed uh, now. So yeah, so that's the one upgrade I did uh, really. The scope is a Colt uh, four by 20, uh, fixed, uh, it's a handle mounted scope. You don't see many people running handle mounted scopes. 
uh, but that's what it is. It basically is designed to mount inside the carry handle. Uh, I didn't really run the scope all the time unless I specifically needed it. So I was, uh, if I was on a far perimeter position, I might take it. Uh, but pretty much anything else and just general uh, patrol carry, uh, the scope just stayed in my bag. And then I would run with um, open irons. There you go. Um, so it comes off nice and easy. Uh, Re-zero is pretty nice and easy. It's basically uh, press fit into the top of that handle. Pretty cool design. Um, I did break my uh, the back where my strap went. Uh, Work-related issue. I don't remember exactly uh, when that happened, but uh, yeah, so a um, little bit of uh, damage there. But other than that, it's in fairly decent shape. Um, I do have this uh, Magpul bad, the battery assist. Um, that's a new addition. Actually, I put that on uh, within the last uh, couple years. Somebody gave that to me for a Christmas gift and I've never, I mean, I've taken it to the range, but practically it's brand new. I just put it on there, uh, tested it, liked it and kept it. So uh, I'm gonna leave that on there, but that's really the only thing that's been changed since I carried this back in the, uh, the late nineties and through uh, to, the, uh, to the early mid 2000s. Yeah, and this also has the uh, the heavy barrel, the H bar. Uh, it's a one in nine twist, I believe. Yeah, one in nine twist. So that's my rifle. So the uh, carry handle comes off on these A3s. They are removable. Ugh. So yeah, just converted it to a flat top. Uh, which is how I'm gonna run it moving forward. Uh, I'm gonna put an optic on it. I am going to put a uh, full length uh, hand guard. I'm gonna put a, this is a 16.1 inch barrel and I'm gonna put a, um, a 15 inch uh, free float hand guard on it, which means this front sight's getting removed and a low profile gas block is going in. Uh, right now, same uh, flash suppressor, flash hider. Uh, upgrading the grip to something a little bit more ergonomic and I'll go into some more detail on that and uh, upgrading the buttstock to something a little bit uh, more padding these uh, these factory Colt buttstocks have zero padding it's literally just hard plastic but for the most part when I was a cop I wore a vest anyway so it would just rest on my vest but yeah I'm older and softer these days so I'll take some padding um, yeah, so really that's it. Um, again, this is the setup video. This is the, this is what I'm coming from. And uh, in uh, future videos, you're gonna see me uh, making those, uh, those changes. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more on the AR-15 build and upgrade.